Hi, I'm Game Guy. I slept well. It's time for more Let's Play Golden Sun. So, we're like exploring this town type place. There's a secret here, secret here. I learned that last time. Last time I can use Reveal to find all of the secrets in the world. All of them. Not just some of them, but all of them. So, naturally, you're gonna be seeing me use Reveal a heck of a lot more. Now, isn't that a fact? A fact that I can say. Oh my gosh, I have hiccups. It's crazy. It's crazy, I say. It's crazy. I thought that was an exit. Like, I I legitimately thought it was an exit. I like how I'm just going into these rooms, not even talking to anybody. I'm just like, man, I'm looking for stuff to steal. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Anyway, last time I said we were going to go and look at this castle-type place. Yep, it's a castle. I knew it. Oh man, all those guards are like, this is Lord Hammett's place, the Lord is away, please be gone. We will happily welcome visitors once Lord Hammett has returned. Leave this to me! Alright, Ivan. It is I. Please permit me to see Lady Leana. Question marks. Sad face. Don't you recognize me? I am Ivan, servant to Lord Hammett. Ivan? I don't recognize you. You're so tan. But it really is you, Ivan. Oh, it's Ivan. You've grown so much in such a short time, Ivan. Can I really change that much? No. I mean, your sprite is exactly the same. <laughs> so, I don't know. It doesn't matter. What's important is that the thieves freed you. Question mark. Please tell us, will Lord Hammett be freed soon too? Freed? Lord Hammett is a prisoner? Uh oh. That thing that happened, like, what? In part six or seven? <laughs> yeah, you know, we're finally going back to that subplot. Gosh. This is a private matter. Would your friends please leave? No. I like being noisy. Or not noisy. Why would I say noisy? I don't like being noisy! I want to be nosy. Gosh, my companions and I have overcome many hardships together. Very well then, why were you not with Lord Hammond? I remained in vault to take to look for his, sh his sh I wanted to say shaman rod, because that's what it is, but he said stolen rod. Uh, stolen? Someone stole his rod? Yes, the shaman rod, but I was able to recover it. And now I'm not using it, because it's a terrible weapon in comparison to everything else I have. We must report this to Lady Leana. Ivan, come see Lady Leana with me. You can explain it all to her. Isaac, you saw Lord Hammett heading north, didn't you? Um... Maybe? That must have been when Lord Hammett went toward Lunpa. Lady Leana will surely be glad to hear your tale. Please come with me and tell her the full story. Well, hopefully this is, serves as like a recap or something. Because, <laughs> seriously. Oh man, are we going to do that charades thing again? I love charades. It's the greatest thing. This is the part where we like shake around and then we're looking at each other and exclamation point, And then we look at each other again. And that lady shakes and there's a dot dot dot. And then, and then that guy shakes his head. When I heard that you were back, Ivan, I had dared to hope that Lord Hammett returned with you. We thought Lord Hammett had been released from Loonpot too. We sent the ransom money they demanded, so he should return soon, right? What's been happening in Loonpot these days? The leadership in Loonpot passed from its founder Loonpot, the noble thief, to his son Donpa. And then Loonpa's grandson, Do Donpa, is a very evil man. If if you remember that, you know, his, his father was heartbroken at the state of Loonpa now. Aww. When did you send the ransom money? Question mark. Let's see. First the volcano erupted, and then the ransom note came right after the eruption. We rushed the money to them right away. I remember it well. It's been quite a while since the eruption. Is it possible they have no intention of letting Lord Hammett go? Yeah, probably. You think so too, Isaac? No. 
Are you saying Dodon Pa won't release Hammett? Oh no! I agree with Ivan! Shut up, Garrett. You're not allowed to... You're not allowed to talk. Ever. I'm sorry, Lady Leona, but I think Ivan might be right. Okay. I believe you, Mia. Yes, walk back and forth and take take all of our time away. Thank you. What should we do? How can we rescue Hammett? Well, I have an idea. Let us do it. I wanted to do it back then, but Ivan was all like, no. And I'm all like, yes. But he's all like, no. So we ended up going and saving a tree instead. It was kind of dumb, actually. Because like, I don't think it really accomplished anything. But, you know, whatever. My lady, this is exactly the soldiers of Calais are, are something. Yes, Lady Leana, please let us handle this. Command us to attack and we shall. I cannot do that, not without thinking over carefully. How can we guarantee Hammond's safety if we send soldiers to attack? I cannot do it. I cannot put Hammett's life at risk. Can't we do something to help? No, Garrett, we can't. What? Look, we both know Hammett's in danger. Question mark. What are you two talking about? Oh, I was just shutting up, Garrett. Madface! It's, it's too dangerous! If you fail, your lives could be in danger, too! Besides, don't you have your own quest to pursue? Um... Trying to remember if there was some world saving thing we were trying to do, but nothing comes to mind, so no. I do not believe that Ivan would not have stayed with you for so long if you did not have an important task ahead. Are you sure? And what will happen to Lord Hammett? Hammett is a good hostage for them. He is so good. I mean, he's, he's so well-behaved. They won't kill him. We shall wait for another message from Loompa. Lady Leana, I cannot leave like this. I will leave in some other fashion. By dancing! I don't know. <laughs> it will be fine, Ivet. Hammett will not want to distract you from... I apologize. I have said more than I should. Sounds like Hammett knows about our mission, doesn't it? I suppose I can keep it a secret no longer. Uh-oh. I shall tell you. I swore an oath to a Jupiter Adept. What? A Jupiter Adept? That's me! Have you heard of a village called Vale? No, never heard of it. You are from Vale, really? And the prophecy was true. Question mark. What prophecy? Three years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Aleph. Oh yeah, that thing where there was a boulder and then some people died. I forget who they were. Probably not important. Ivan must depart on a journey with warriors from Vale. So it was fated. I've heard nothing of any such prophecy. It happened several years before Hammett founded Calais. He was off traveling. Hammett felt he had reached an impasse as a merchant then. He risked his life on a journey to find a new source of business. He was in mortal danger at the southwestern edge of the world when some adepts appeared and saved his life. He had lost consciousness. When he awoke, he found himself in their village. Just a moment. Am I from that village? Yes. The adept gave him the shaman's rod, and you, along with some doubloons. Okay. Doubloons? Were they golden doubloons? Happy face! Yes. Let's see. You are called... I am Mina. M M Mina. Okay. <laughs> it was a lot of gold, Mia, but he also received some business advice. Business advice? Does that mean that those adepts knew the business advice synergy? 
That's one of the greatest synergies that we've ever heard of. I, I think. I don't know. Hammett has the adepts to thank for his success. Wow, I've never heard anything like that. That's because you weren't supposed to be here! Guards, get out of here! This is a private conversation, gosh! It's advised to buy silk from Zane and sell it in Toby. To see anything sell so well, it's like a dream come true. There's no denying that was when Hammett picked up his knack for business. Did he have a promise? That, did, did he have to promise them anything in return? Exclamation point. Yes, Ivan. It is something you will need on your journey. Something we need in our journey? And Adek asked Hammett to use the Shaman's Rod to obtain it. He looked for this object wherever he went, but he could never find it. Then, three years ago, a storm struck. One that hit only Mount Aleph. Oh no. Hamish was worried that time was running out. Oh no. But he managed to unearth a clue just in time. That Ivan is why he took you with that caravan on his last journey north. I had no idea. So that must be why he left the rod in my care. But then... No, Ivan. You mustn't blame yourself. It was my carelessness that caused the rod to, be, to get stolen, and ultimately, that is why Lord Hammond is being held in Loompa. You must continue your journey and complete your quest. You can't blame yourself. But what will happen to Hammond? I will handle this. And don't forget the soldiers of Calais! Continue on your journey, and do not worry about Hammett. I am sorry, I cannot tell you more about the Shaman's Rod. No, don't apologize. The Shaman's Rod will help us find that thing we need for our quest, right? Well, you look for it, and well, I suppose the plot tells me to, so I might as well, or something. Very well, take care of yourselves. Return to your posts, everyone. But we don't have a post! I want a post! I, I, I can, like, I don't, knock it over because it's it's just a piece of lumber or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so now we can explore the castle for realsies and uh, use reveal all over the place. And there's a chest here. What is in the chest? Water jacket! Water jacket? Is that like a jacket made of water or something? Resist water and fire. Water and fire. Hmm. 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 Well, uh, resisting water is something that Garrett could use, I, I suppose. I mean, he gets the most defense out of it anyway, so... Might as well. Might as well. Can I give this a depth close to anybody else, or is it useless to me now? It's useless to me now. Okay. 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 Alright, so... I don't know if there's anything else even worth finding in this castle. I, I know that... It's that whole dungeon area. There's obviously something going on there, but I don't know what. So, um, that is a puzzle for another day. I checked a barrel, found a net. Yay! 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 There are stairs here, by the way. It's, it's worth checking out. I said, oh, this is where this is where I was. Yeah, see that? I, I can't see very well when I use reveal, so... <laughs> Curse you, reveal, and your crazy shenanigans. There's a stairway up here I missed. These castles, man, they're just, they're crazy or something. It's just like, dude, we're gonna have castles everywhere. They're gonna be like freaking big and massive and such. So yeah, you know, this entire episode thus far has been nothing but a cutscene or something. So yeah, instead of actually making progression, I'm just gonna run around using reveal all over the place, hoping to find stuff, which I don't, by the way. So, there he is. I could have sworn, like, with these wells, there's a way to, like, jump in them, and I don't remember how to do that. Maybe it's just, like, specific wells or something. I don't, I don't know. So, there's two caves I can go to. There's one here. Calais Tunnel Entrance. Hmm. Is this where I want to go? I'm guessing not, because there's a guard here in my way. 
Do you want to go to the cave up ahead? Yes, I do. I'd let I'd like to let you go, but I cannot. You'd better just turn around. Aww. You're such a meanie face. Why would you do such a thing, man? Man, I wanted to go that way. Turns out I can't. All right, so it looks like I could go up there if I want. There's another cave over here. I kind of want to. There's a town over here. Hi there. Um. Oh man. Incredible! So this is the ocean Kraden was talking about. Yeah, we already pointed that out earlier, but okay. The Karagal is surrounded by land, so technically it's not a real ocean. A true ocean is totally open. Is that face? Why do you gotta spoil his his thing? It's just the this is the way that Kraden described it. Someday I want to see the real ocean, Isaac. This ocean is a fake! Clay docks. Okay, so I don't know where this is exactly. I don't remember. Like, again, there's a lot of stuff about this game I just don't remember. I might have mentioned at some point this is like the second time I've ever really played through this game, so it's sort of like, okay, I don't remember half of this stuff. We can't take Silk Road, so everyone's in a pickle. Why are you in a pickle? Get out of that pickle! There's a djinn over there mocking me with his mockness. So, um, you, the ship will be open until the tourists arrive. Feel free to look around. Well, I, I, can, I can look around, I guess. I don't know what that would really do for me. No, I wanted to talk to the guy, but I guess I don't want to. Tolby bound ship! Tolby bound ship! Oh, man. Actually, I remember this. This is, this is, this is something. I don't know what this is exactly, but, um... This is a thing, and I just got a nut, and there's some pirates here or something? I don't know. But we can't send the ship out without hiring some warriors. I'm a warrior. It's too late to hire mercenaries now. There's no time. Alright, well, you know, obviously they don't want my help, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. Cause, you know, what the heck, man? You gotta be so rude. Whoa! We're at the top of the world! The top of it! Not the bottom of it, the top of it. I mean, there's a distinct difference between the two things, so you gotta, gotta make sure you're clear about this. Okay, so... Is there a point to being here at this this current moment in time? I'm starting to think the answer to that question is no. I mean, there's some hidden items in here. I mean, those are, those are okay, I guess, but uh, nothing of any real interest is happening here in this place. Other than a djinn, which I assume is just there to mock us until we can actually do something here. So, um, yes. This is... I was already in here. Why am I in here again? I don't know. Alright, so there's no point in going there, I assume. I'm assuming that, but I don't know for sure. Regardless, I need to go over here because I want to check out this cave. I swear, G Gondolon Cave. This just sounds like a place I've been to. Maybe? I don't... I can't get past this thing, now can I? It, it, the way it's arranged, I, I can't move it at all, because I can't... I, I'd need to be standing exactly where that gap is in order to move it, so... Okay, that was completely pointless. I guess I can't... That's, that's where I exit something, I don't know. Okay, so obviously I've never been there before. I guess I was wrong. So, where do I go now, then? I'm wondering. I I'm wondering. I'm wandering. I'm wondering. I'm at a quandary. I'm not really sure, actually. I guess I just kind of wander around in hopes of finding something. I don't know. Is there anything over here, dare I ask? There's a bridge. I could use this bridge. There's a town! Slimes? Slimes? Th these are like the basic guys we fought at the beginning of the game, are they not? I Correct me if I'm wrong. But they all die in, like, one hit. Seemingly. Huh, Isaac, why'd you gotta go and defend? Crazy guy. So what's this, then, huh? What's what's this? Vault? How do we go in a big circle now? This, this, this is crazy now. Okay, so we're back in Vault. That's interesting and a half. Um, I guess it's the part of the game where we go back and we do things. Also, I'm remembering something. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Dog. Yeah, Mr. Dog. You're in my way, Mr. Dog. I want to go into this this thing, Mr. Dog. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh 
Aha! Okay, so that's a, that's a secret that I can explore. But I'm gonna do that next time. Uh, next time, I guess, um... We're back in old territory. And there's stuff to do. See you later, goodbye.